Hello, welcome everyone. I see you're joining, how exciting, welcome, welcome. So we're gonna start in a second. While you're here tuning in, uh, put me in the chat. Okay, just checking in with my team that everything looks good and sound is good, perfect. So while you're tuning in here, um, do you have a chat or q a box here? Put in the chat um, where you're tuning in from. I would love, love, love to know. I know we had like thousands of people sign up from all over the world and I would love to know where you're tuning in from. That would be so exciting to know. Okay. Montreal, Canada, New York. Yeah, chat is disabled, but I have a Q&A box. Budapest, Hungary, India, New York again, Los Angeles, Austria, Los Angeles, Texas, Denmark. Oh my God. Toronto, Bangkok, India, Spain, Ireland. Oh my God. I'm so excited. Utah, Bath, Madrid, Spain. And I am saying literally from everywhere in the world. So excited. Okay, welcome. I'm so happy that you're joining here today. Let's get started right away because we have so much to talk about today. Okay, oops. Okay, I think you can now see my slides. Okay, here we are. Welcome to the Summer Capsule Wardrobe Masterclass. I'm your host today, Style Coach Nina Walder. Okay, this masterclass is for you if you want to feel chic, put together, and confident this coming season in summer and beyond. If you want to put together outfits quickly for any occasion and love your reflection in the mirror, if you want to have timeless and practical wardrobe is mix and match outfits. So we are here today to talk about all of that. Actually, preparing while preparing for this webinar and like thinking about, okay, how do I want to show up today? What do I want to wear today for the class? I put on this look, put on a little bit of lipstick, and I'm like, ah, I feel so good. I feel so ready to deliver this class with my best energy. This is how style works. This is literally why I do what I do, because style instantly helps you transform your mood, elevate your mood. So we are going to talk today details about how you can do that, not but on special rare occasion, um, not by coincidence, but by intention, by design. Okay, so today the plan is we're going to go through step-by-step -step strategy. I'm going to walk you through seven steps, how to create style and wardrobe, which makes you feel good. I will then share with you a very special offer if you would want to continue and get results fast. And then at the very, very end, I'm going to be answering your questions. So if you have some questions, I told you that I highly recommend for you to join live. Kudos to you to showing up live. I will be answering your questions, but stick to the very end. And then I'm going to go through those questions, okay? I am probably not going to go through like Q&A while I'm doing going through the steps because um, I may get distracted and we have so much to cover. I prepared an amazing webinar for you. So let's get started with the introduction and the questions Going to be at the very end. So stay until then. If you don't know me, my name is Nina Walder. I'm a personal stylist and a style coach. And by now I've helped hundreds and hundreds of women transform their style, elevate their style. And I work with women uh, from all backgrounds, all shapes, sizes, and heights. I work with women uh, from all over the world. So I know how the system works and applicable to many, many women of all shapes and sizes and heights. And as a stylist and as a woman myself, I've seen it time and time again, and this is my very firm belief, that every woman has a unique beauty. So you, inside you, you have a unique beauty, a special beauty. Sometimes we're just along the way or by being distracted by social media and bombarding with all this, being bombarded with all these messages around ourselves, we forget like how we are special and beautiful inside out. And sometimes we just need... A little help, style help, and a little elevation to really bring it inside out. And everything that I do, it's not about some standardized approach, like, oh, this is a capsule wardrobe template that everybody has to apply and like your style challenges will disappear and you will feel great and you will look beautiful or that you have to buy these trendy items and you will look beautiful again. It's not about that. Not at all. It's not how it works. It's all about this inside out approach. And I truly believe that you have a very special beauty, unique beauty that you just may need to put out um, through style. 
So my style evolution as well has been quite a journey. So I definitely was not born with an eye for style or for eye for color or special talent or anything like this. In fact, all through my 20s, um, even now in the 30s, actually, I've been really struggling with um, not knowing how to dress my body. So literally nothing fits my body was a phrase that was living in my head because I'm a petite, a bit chubby, I have uh, short legs, a uh, big chest, and like your average silhouette, uh, your average clothing from the store does not fit. It's actually the silhouette is pretty terrible. I didn't know how to wear color, so I would resort to those outfits that are like black, white, uh, gray, beige, brown, something like this. Um, I didn't know how to do otherwise, but this clothes did not make me feel confident, polished, put together, but I just didn't know otherwise. So it's been a like long journey of struggle. And I guess for you, it might have been the same as well. And the whole reason I'm showing you my before and after is just to show that if I, a like, simple average woman with no special talent or anything like this, could transform from something like this to style that truly makes me love my reflection in the mirror, style that makes me feel confident, really good in my own body, style that makes me believe that everything fits. There are so many amazing silhouettes, then you can do that as well. So I don't have a special eye or innate talent for style or a perfect body when everything fits. I definitely do not spend all my money on buying a huge wardrobe. I actually have a very different approach. I'm all about efficiency. And the topic of today, capsule wardrobe, is about mix and match efficient wardrobe. And I don't spend all my free time on putting outfits together, on uh, shopping and all of that. Okay, so I'm a busy woman who learned to approach style in a strategic way, and I'm going to be sharing with you today as well. So if you've been having any doubts before that, oh, but I don't have time to like to look through all these clothes or put together those outfits because this is how it used to be for you, and you're thinking like you have to choose either you go for something quick and practical, or you have to spend all the time, all the money, all of this, um, and to have like some kind of pretty outfit and to feel better. You can have both, like you don't have to choose. There is a middle ground that is very, very attractive. And I'm going to be sharing with you how to achieve that. So I haven't just uh, figured out my style and my wardrobe for myself. I helped a lot of women do the same. I'm going to be sharing with you actually a lot of stories of my clients, of real women like yourself, who were able to transform their style, even though they also came with a, uh, their own challenges, thinking that, okay, for me, probably nothing is going to work. Maybe if you can just help me to put a few outfits together, I would be happy. But they, come, they, they live with a completely transformational image and how they see themselves, confidence, all of that. And everything that I'm going to be sharing as well here to like the before and after, it's not about to judge or oh, somebody's before was terrible and after is so beautiful. It's a very personal journey for everyone. So for you, maybe um, you think, oh, I would not want to wear so much color. Does it mean that um, I cannot figure like I cannot have a better style? Not at all. The before and after that I share with you is what my clients express that, oh, I was not happy before. This is how I used to dress. Now I'm very happy and me feeling confident in my body, feeling happy with my style, with my reflection in the mirror. This is how it looks like for me. And it is different for everyone. So this is Anna who, um, if you've seen, I think it's shared on Instagram recently. She shared uh, with me that, uh, Nina, I'm so sorry, I lost weight. Like nobody has ever said that, right? But she said that a while initially. She came to work with me um, while she gained a lot of weight. Her size has completely changed. So she used to be size, I think, 8 US and she became size 12, 14 US. Uh, she got injured and she was on bed for like a few months. So she believed that nothing like style is not possible for her. So she, this was her kind of last attempt, last resort. Okay, I'm going to give it a try while I'm here on the sofa. Um, I'm going to try to figure out my style, even though I watched every YouTube video out there. But let me try to work with Nina because she followed me for many years. And she was very happy to create amazing style for her body in a different size. And then a few months later, she lost the weight. And she told me, like, I'm so sorry I lost weight. Because she knew that she couldn't look amazing in any weight. And this is a confirmation. This is another client, Lindsay. She's from Canada. She's a very busy woman. She's a mom of three. And she 
um, she lives in a kind of like rural area, so she doesn't have like the luxury of passing a store and like going shopping. Um, so she used to believe that like because I live outside, because I need to have very practical style, because I have three kids and I don't have that much time, like this this is like my typical uniform. I don't know if something else is possible. Um, if I don't want to wear heels, if I don't want to wear any like dresses and anything like this, but she was able to completely transform her style and become. Um, this is what she's saying, like, I love my style, it's more feminine, even though it's polished and even though it's like practical for me and very easy for me, it's still like elevated and polished. I'm getting so many compliments on my outfits wherever I go. So this is the transformation that is possible for you, even if you're very busy, even if you believe right now that nothing fits or any other excuse. Okay, so we are coming to the capsule wardrobe. Um, and why, why we are even talking about the capsule wardrobe. So if you know me, I do love a pretty outfit. I'm, um, it's been like, so I told you, I've been on a journey, how to uh, figure out my style. And at some point I finally figured it out. I knew how to put together an outfit that fit and flatters my body that I love when I look in the mirror. Uh, but there was a moment when, uh, my husband and I, we moved to a new country, to a new city. And while we were like, when we finally settled, we got an apartment uh, we ordered all the boxes to be shipped to, to us from uh, from that uh, country we, live, we used to live before. And um, before the boxes arrived, like the previous day, my husband broke his arm on a bicycle. And when the boxes arrived, like there was a funny service. There was like delivery to the door. I literally had to carry all those boxes myself. And when I opened those boxes, all that I saw in those boxes, they were literally filled with my clothing. Like all of those boxes, they were filled with my clothes. And I was thinking like, why like why i don't even like i already forgot that i had those clothing i don't even intend to wear it anymore it feels like old to me if some pieces are trendy then then used to be trendy not trendy anymore and i was feeling that it like I had this acute feeling of this is such a waste of my time and money and effort and all of this and i thought i do not want a pr just a pretty style i want an efficient wardrobe i want a wardrobe where it's easy for me to get dressed i want a wardrobe where clothing go with one another and where things um easy to put together so this was the moment literally the moment when i learned that I don't want huge wardrobe, a lot of clothes. I want efficient wardrobe. I want every piece to be there for a reason. So that's the real reason behind the capsule wardrobe, why I'm so passionate about this topic, why I'm, why I'm teaching it well today. But, um, okay, um, a lot of times you will see some uh, very boring type of capsule wardrobe, and we're going to talk about how not to have that, how to have actually inspiring a shin capsule wardrobe. Quick recap, capsule wardrobe is a collection of clothing that is composed of interchangeable items only to maximize the number of outfits that can be created. The aim is to have an outfit suitable for any occasion without owning too much of clothing. So in a few words, it's fewer clothing and many more outfits. This is a real example of the capsule that I put together for my clients. It's 20, 23 pieces plus shoes and accessories, which... Um, translates into 80 plus outfits literally every top goes with every bottom here like everything goes with one another and this is how a capsule wardrobe shall and can work and this is how it can look as well if you can see and let's start so what does it actually mean i'm going to be talking to you about seven steps to chic and practical style and wardrobe are you ready okay so step number one is whenever you're thinking about putting together a new type of style or like small capsule wardrobe, or you want to start afresh, you want to leave behind this uh, sporadic shopping and nothing to wear, and you want to start creating your wardrobe with intention and really start to think about the outfits that make you feel good, you really have to start with your vision. This is where a lot of women, they are making these huge mistakes of looking at the standard solutions online, like standardized capsule wardrobe, looks, looking at the influencer picks or shopping um, the capsule uh, selections or um, looking for trendy items, like what is trendy for this season? Let me get the trendy color, trendy piece in hope of a better style. In reality, only the inside out approach is gonna give you a style that makes you feel good 
like really you feel good not just oh it looks pretty but I don't feel it's like myself or it doesn't make me feel like that good so if you want a style that feels good to you and you want a style that is gonna work for you in the long run you have to start with your vision so take a moment connect with yourself and think for yourself how do I want to feel? Like when I put together an outfit, how do I actually want to feel? How do I want to look and feel when I put together an outfit? What is important to me? What do I like? So a lot of my clients, for example, when they come to work with me, I would say majority of them, and probably for you as well, you may feel like, oh, I just want to look polished and put together and for my style to be practical. So most women want that, like polished, put together, but it can mean different things to different people. So it go deeper. Okay, what does it actually mean? Polished and put together, practical. What does it actually mean? For example, for myself, a polished and practical style would be like blazers and shirts and midi dresses, like neat midi dresses, midi skirts. Like this would be like my vision for a chic and practical style that works for me, for my life, what makes me feel good. For somebody else, I was just talking to you about Lindsay uh, in Canada who has three kids and working outside of the city. For her, it's a completely different thing. For her, uh, she's valuing um, comfort first and foremost. So she she's happy to wear flats and shorts and some easy t-shirts. So for her, this is the vision of a kind of elevated style, which predominantly has to be practical with very easy, simple pieces, but elevated with color, a bit of print, and like having it like cohesive and consistent. So think about yourself. This is really the key, the foundation. That's why we start. And this is where a lot of um, people are lacking um, in results in their style and like the, the, lack, the discrepancy between how they want to feel and how their wardrobe looks like, because they don't put this thought behind. And this is truly important. You may feel like, okay, um, when I really dig in um, deeper with myself and I really question, I may kind of come up with a couple of things, what I, like how do I want to look and feel, but I'm like stuck at some point. So you may at that point think that, okay, what do I not want? What do I not like? So maybe it's something that right now you're like literally your daily dressing or your wardrobe when you open it, what do you feel like? What do you not want? You don't want maybe a messy wardrobe. You don't want a wardrobe where you have 20 pairs of navy pants for work. Maybe you don't want a wardrobe where you only have black and navy and um, gray in your wardrobe. So having this vision as well, what you don't want will make, will help you transition a bit quicker and get, give you clarity into, okay, what do I actually want? So this is important and you want to think for yourself because chic and practical put together can mean very different things to different people. And when you look at all these outfits, they're all like chic and put together, but you can see this could be using the nitros, this could be using the color and wearing shorts, could be wearing a midi skirt and having more of this kind of princess, uh, more feminine type of style. A very feminine style could be using pants. Um, it could be uh, this type of more bold, expressive uh, style using bold color and print. It could be more put together, more kind of like corporate type of uh, outfit. So what does... Uh, it mean for you? What is your vision for your style? Okay. Okay, I'm just looking quickly on the um, um, on the chat. Uh, with your view on the three word method it's not a three word method it's um you um, thinking about how do you want to show up what is important for you what makes you feel confident and good in your outfit in your body so this is just one part of the like we're talking about the seven steps so it's not just oh now i'm going shopping not at all Okay, we're going to continue. Step number two, and this is also where a lot of women are making a mistake because they're thinking, okay, now I'm going to start creating my wardrobe and style with intention. Let me create the whole wardrobe for my whole life. And um, it's a really bad idea because this is where you get very overwhelmed. This is where um, you will end up um, thinking about this 10 black t-shirts and navy trousers because if you want to mix and match and you're thinking about like all the pieces that you need to have to cover like all activities in your life this is becoming so so overwhelming instead while you are like trying a new method of 
putting together a wardrobe with intention. Select a tiny area of your life. Maybe it's a summer work capsule. So we are coming into summer. Maybe it's a summer work from home capsule or even smaller. Maybe you have a travel coming up, whether it's a holiday travel, a conference travel, business travel, whatever it might be, like seven day or three day trip. Maybe you can start really, really small and start putting together a capsule of that. So you want to kind of understand how it works. So when you're coming to think about the bigger capsule wardrobe for generally covering, covering your whole life, um, you already understand the principle and how it works in reality. So start with a small area. It's less overwhelming. You gain clarity and experience. And then you can think about bigger project like seasonal capsule, for example. Yeah, this is where a lot of people have it wrong. They're trying to think, oh, I like summer capsule wardrobe. Yeah, we're talking about the summer capsule wardrobe today. But for you, thinking afterwards, how you're going to approach it, start small. Not like, oh, I'm going to think about the holiday outfits. And when I go on date nights and when I go to work and when I go to brunch with my friends and uh, like meet some people. Like it's overwhelming. It's impossible to do it from the very beginning. So you want to start small. And this is a great example of one of my clients, Alexa. She put together a mini capsule for the conference and it felt amazing for her. So she knows exactly that for every day of the conference, she has an outfit ready. She doesn't have to think about or overpack or break her head about like just random pieces that end up on her suitcase. And with a capsule, especially if you choose, for example, uh, to put together a capsule for a travel, so you can start already, like, it's not about directly going shop, it's about putting together maybe a small capsule out of your own wardrobe, using what you already have. So maybe you just select, so here she has uh, three types of bottoms and several tops. So maybe you can start just with two bottoms and like five or six tops and two layers and try to put together your mini capsule. This you, this will give you an idea and clarity. Oh, this is how it's supposed to work. Okay. Um, another example, Jenny, also another one of my clients from London, she packed for a holiday trip, um, a capsule for a holiday trip. Everything is to mix and match. Everything is working with one another and makes you very, very happy because it's easy and fun to get dressed and enjoy her holidays instead of obsessing over um, nothing to wear or she like not having enough clothing for, uh, for every day. Okay, so... Step number three, basics at the foundation. So remember, if you want your capsule wardrobe to work, if you want this mix and match wardrobe, you need to have basics at the foundation. And this is where a lot of people are also getting it wrong, especially if you're trying to look up capsule wardrobes online. A lot of times you will see capsule wardrobe consisting of something like this black gray uh, type of scheme where... When I talk about basics, a lot of people think like, oh, I don't want that. I don't want a like dull and boring capsule wardrobe. Okay, I can have more clothes than this type of boring wardrobe. And these are like two extremes. So on one hand, you can have this type of like very uh, common uh, type of capsule wardrobe, which is dull and boring, very limited color palette, looks like everyone else, very repetitive and quite boring. On the other hand, we have another extreme, and this is where I see a lot of my clients kind of coming into uh, this category as well. When you go shop, you don't want this boring style. So you're looking for some interesting pieces. You're looking for some pieces with like visual detail, with some, some sort of elements that catch your eye and which hopefully will produce this more visually interesting put together looks. So you end up with a huge wardrobe but very few outfits, because when you look at those pieces, all of them are great by themselves. But if you try to think about mixing and matching, it just does not work. This is where you literally have big wardrobe, very few outfits, because for like one top, you have uh, one type of bottom or vice versa. So literally one clothing piece, one outfit for a new outfits, you need new clothing. And this is how it's another extreme when the wardrobe does not work. Now, when it comes to basics, I'm um, going to share with you the real way how basics work. Basics does not mean that it has to be gray or black. Basics means that the clothing piece has a straight cut and simple laconic design without any embellishment, ruffles, any special cut detail or anything like this. So if you look at these shirts at the left and right, they both stripe blue t-shirts. 
The left one is not a basic shot, so you can see you have this detail on the collar, you have a button, and you have this special detail on the sleeve. Okay, and this one on the right is a basic type of shot, which will be easy to mix and match. You may be thinking, oh, but it has a print and a very vivid print. How is it basic? So basic only refers to the cut and style of the piece. The surface, so to say, like the color, the print could be pretty much anything. So you don't have to resort to boring basics or to like very limited color palette of neutrals. You can go for color or for print. You just want to make sure the piece by itself is a classic, straight, minimalistic type of design. Also, if you want the type of the timeless wardrobe, so not something that you can wear for a season or two, but something for the longer run, you want to have a piece which, like, like this. This is a piece that was looked relevant 10 years ago, and for another 10 years, it's going to look relevant as well. This is how you create a timeless wardrobe, or at least the foundation of your wardrobe would be timeless, because you go for these basic clothing pieces that look modern for years to come. On the contrast, those pieces with special design, with some special, whatever it is, frills, cuts, or anything, this is what usually goes out of fashion quickly. So these usually are the trendy details that make the piece relevant for a season or two, but then not looking uh, modern or relevant after a couple of years. Another example, T-shirt. Uh, yes, it is a white T-shirt. Yes, it may look too basic for some of you, but just to show you an example, the one on the left is not a basic type of T-shirt uh, because it has the special color inserts. Um, um, so this one is, first of all, going to be more difficult to style. It's going to get out of fashion. It's trendy right now. It's not going to be trendy next season. So this is the type of uh, piece that you can have in your wardrobe, but you cannot have all the pieces in your wardrobe like this. This, on the contrast, is a basic type of T-shirt. Example of one of my clients, Miralis. Um, if you look at all her outfits here on the right, they are all consisting of basic clothing of pieces, but you're probably thinking that, Oh, but it doesn't look basic. It doesn't look like boring, what you usually see, uh, like basic type of out outfits using just basics, right? That's because she's using color. The fit is great. She's um, she's uh, playing with prints as well. And this creates this put together where she looks. For her, uh, she lives in Texas. She works in tech. She predominantly works from home. So she... And she has a toddler, so she wanted a very like casual but put together look. And this is what she achieved. And she's extremely happy with her style. And it's just easy for her to, to get dressed. So I got ready super fast and felt chic and loving these versatile pieces. So now, uh, put it in the Q&A. Um, do you get an idea now? Do you get an idea like the basics, what we covered just now, the basics, what are the basics, why it makes sense for you to have more basics in your wardrobe, about the vision, is it clear? Uh, put in the Q&A, you have the Q&A at the bottom, you can just type there, I'm seeing all the answers, all the types there. Yes, uh, completely, absolutely, okay, great, yeah, okay. Uh, Hershini is saying, I just realized I don't have many basics. Yeah, this is what a lot of women are realizing that like I have a huge wardrobe, so many clothes, but like why nothing goes with one another? So now you have in the clarity, oh, because all your pieces are eye catchy, uh, too special. They don't go with one another. Yes, it's clear. So happy to hear that. Okay, yes, yes. <laughs> I do. Unfortunately, I'm on the team where I have to way too many standout printed pieces. Yeah, it's absolutely fine. It's what many women are um, like going for and experiences. So you're here to educate yourself. You're here to gain clarity. And this is really like the belief shifting because... Um, uh, because most of us have not ever learned properly how to put together outfits that makes you feel confident how to create a style and wardrobe that works for you we are like having a very haphazard approach to that without a very clear idea how to do that um okay love and agree i don't have many basics okay fantastic too many special pieces all right okay <laughs> Uh, right. Okay. So what percentage division to follow for basics and trendy category? We're going to talk about that. Great question. Okay. Moving on. 
So what are the basics for summer? Like, I'm going to give you a couple of examples. If you're thinking about your summer wardrobe, again, summer looks different to different people. Some of us are living in a very hot and humid climate. Some of us are living in a climate. I mean, I have some clients in Germany who need a trench coat or in London, in the UK, who need a trench coat for their summer. And some people live um, like in Canada where it's pretty chill in, in summer as well. So it's different for everyone. So you decide and you adapt everything to yourself. Any great style, any great wardrobe that works for you has to be adapted to your needs, to your liking, to your style preference, to your body and to where you live. So the basics for summer are obviously sleeveless tops and they could be knit tops, silk tops, cotton or a mix of cotton viscose or anything type of tops with different type of color and necklines, all of that. Obviously t-shirt if you like more casual pieces and you want a more casual style. Shorts, all, si all, all uh, types of shorts, especially linen shorts or a mix of linen and silk, linen and cotton. They are great. So some of you who are thinking about the summer wardrobe for work, for example, blazers could be still a piece that you can wear in summer. I personally live in a very hot climate here in Spain. Um, it is hot in summer, but I do love my blazer. It's just like it's part of my style of DNA. But the blazers are different for the ones you wear, for example, in winter and the ones you can wear in summer. In summer, you can think about thin, um, unlined linen blazers. So if in winter or like for other seasons, the blazer could be cotton, a bit more thick. For summer, it would be the blazer without any lining. So it's much thinner and out of very thin fabric, kind of very easy breezy. So this could be the blazer alternative as well. If like blazer is a no-go for you, you can think about sleeveless blazer. I love this type of piece. Makes you kind of add a layer to look very put together, but without adding like too much coverage on your body. Perfect, perfect piece if you kind of think about the blazer, but want a bit more elevated piece. When we're talking about the bottoms, it could be also so many options. Obviously, it could be the jeans. Also, jeans. These are different type of jeans. The ones you wear in winter, they're a little bit thicker. The ones you wear in summer could be very, very thin, so almost like trousers. So they are jeans, but they are comfortable to wear in summer. Could be trousers, um, cotton, thin cotton, linen, all of that. Shorts. Uh, short skirts, um, midi skirts, like slip skirts, knit skirts, cotton skirts, um, a lot of different options, wrap skirts, linen skirts, all of that. And of course, dresses. Um, it could be slip dress, it could be short dress, it could be wrap dress, so many different options as well. Generally, when you put together a wardrobe and if you want more outfits, I would recommend to first focus on the pieces like not on the dresses, but this is like common mistake that a lot of women are making that it's fun to shop for dresses, but the downside of the dresses is like while it is an easy one piece outfit, it becomes very repetitive. So like for a new outfit, you need, need a new dress and you kind of like change it uh, too often. So if you want more mix and match outfits and more outfits, focus first on these pieces, which can go with one another. So tops and bottoms a layer or without a layer, because this will give you more outfits. And then add a few dresses just to add kind of different pieces to the mix. Oops. So um, another example, one of my clients, so Barty, she's very petite as well. Um, she lives in the Middle East. She's like in very hot climate, uh, but uh, strongly air conditioned. So she, she used to dress like this kind of pieces with a lot of coverage. And she used to do these type of mistakes as well because she didn't want a boring style. So you could see, and she told, she was telling me myself that I, Nina, I would go for those type of visually interesting pieces like this one where you have this kind of detail on the top and on the bottom. Like I don't want boring style. So I, I would always go for this, but then nothing works together. Now, if you see on the right, these are all basic pieces, all of them. All of these pieces are basics, but she's using the power of color, putting together different color accessories, some little details to create a style that makes her feel polished and put together. So this is the power of basics. Now, if you've been thinking still that, oh, I love the idea of basics, I love the idea of mix and match, but you're still thinking that, oh, I don't want this. Like, this is the typical capsule wardrobe that you're seeing online. I don't want like 10 different uh, black and gray t-shirts. I don't want uh, 10 black tank tops. I want something that is chic and aspiring. So you want to make a chic and stylish and stylish using the power of 
um, color and print and variety within your own wardrobe. So how do you go from something like this that is boring, repetitive and does not and doesn't produce this kind of inspiring and different type of outfits is when you intentionally invest in the pieces that are different. And there's so many details. Here, there are just a few examples of the sleeveless tops, but look how different the necklines are. Designs, cuts, colors, textures, fabrics, thickness. So even though these are all the different, like six sleeveless tops, you can already imagine, like, think of this pairing, any of this top is white jeans, for example, very easy outfit. And you can already think how all of these outfits will look and feel very different because there is a power of color. There is a different uh, necklines, there is different fits. So some of them are more like flowy. Some of them are more fitted. The one, there are ones that are a bit shorter, the ones that are a bit longer that you tuck in, different necklines. So this is what creates a different type of outfits than when outfits don't feel boring and repetitive to you. And this is where most women Buy the same type of clothing for years and they are tired of boring outfits you have to become very intentional about bringing this type of variety to your clothing and even if you think that oh i love the idea that in summer i can wear this type of tops and different bottoms but um like i can only wear jeans for example or i can only wear trousers like i cannot wear skirts or anything like this even within the same um not even category the same like type of clothing piece let's think about the jeans you can already bring so much variety so you can have jeans that are okay this one a bit more white color cropped and like straight this one a wide full length already with these two type of jeans you're going to create two type of different looks you have these jeans that are a bit more skinny uh, cropped these ones are white and full length they, they, these are two different types of kind of blue these are pink type of jeans so even if you think like oh, i can only wear pants or linen pants or whatever it might be even within the same type of clothing piece you can already bring a lot of variety another example uh annalisa from san francisco she used to like like majority of women used to buy the exact type of clothing this is when you open your wardrobe and you have 20 pairs of navy pants and like 10 types of um similar type of tops she used to wear go for just um, black bottoms so very dark bottoms and dark top and it felt all very repetitive and boring to her but she brought this variety and she felt extremely extremely happy while keeping her style very practical for her lifestyle and just makes you feel very very good now step number five is to pick your color palette um ideally when we talk about colors um so color you could see already so it, transitioning from this more of this repetitive and boring black and gray type of wardrobe into something that is more chic and stylish you do want to introduce color ideally you want to have your colors done so you want to know which colors make you feel better um which colors make you feel really good which colors make you shine and then you want to pick like if you're just starting out with color you want to pick just two, three colors, like that going to be accent colors in addition to your neutrals. So maybe in the summer you go for more lighter neutrals, like all shades of cream, white, beige type of neutrals, maybe with the introduction of a couple of navy and browns to your wardrobe. So you want to kind of pick the color palette. You cannot just start, okay, now I want inspiring style and now let me go out and shop for this colorful type of wardrobe. You still want to be very strategic if you want this mix and match type of outfits. There are different ways how you can combine colors. Um, but here are a couple of ways, like the easiest way, I would say, if you want a more colorful wardrobe, if you want to go just beyond like two or three colors, if you know me, I, I wear all colors, I wear anything except black, <laughs> but I wear all colors. And if you want all colors to work together in your wardrobe, you want to have like a common denominator, something common in between among those colors. So you can go for all light shades. So for example, for all pastels or in general, like lighter shades, predominantly my wardrobe is all lighter shades. I just love how it looks on me. It looks good on me, especially when I have a bit of a tan. Just love that. Perfect for summer and year round for me. If you love your darker shades, you can go for all darker shades. And this is when sometimes uh, people ask me, oh, I have a burgundy dress. Can I go for navy shoes or can I go for green? bag if it's 
all the dark color scheme, you absolutely can. You don't have to break your head around, oh, does it work together? Does burgundy and deep uh, brown or deep green works together? If they're all dark shades, absolutely, it does work together. So here's an example of the capsule, all in the light shades. You can see there are quite a few colors here. We have pink and purple and we have uh, what green and blue here yes blue here and we have some neutrals like beige and white but all of this works together because all the colors are light this is the beauty of knowing how to combine colors oops okay this is actually the real capsule that's why when I click it it's kind of all linked and uh, it brings me to to the shop Okay, uh, what am I, one of my clients were saying that my whole wardrobe consists of neutrals and blacks, and while I like those colors, my outfit started to feel boring and repetitive. And now I love to wear color. I know how to combine colors, and I love learning so much. Um, I was scared to buy colorful clothes before, but now I know how. So this is where a lot of women are also stuck because they don't know how to buy colorful clothes. They don't know which colors look good for them and also how to combine colorful outfits, how to put together color. Once you know, it becomes easy, effortless, and then you become just happier, so much happier with your style. One of my clients actually told me that um, her style used to feel like black and white tv and now she kind of once she went through the process and now she feels like oh i have a like full color full on hd tv in my life and it feels so much better step number six make it work meaning that whenever you introduce new piece into your wardrobe you want to make sure that it goes with majority majority if not with everything in your own wardrobe so if you're thinking about the top can you wear with these trousers? Can you wear with that trousers? Can you wear it with a skirt, with this type of wrap skirt, with this type of straight skirt? So whenever you introduce a new piece, you want to make sure that it works with majority of your pieces. Uh, this is how I approach my wardrobe as well. I don't have like complete mix and match. So in the capsule wardrobe, the assumption that everything goes with one another, you can do that. But if you want to have a bit more like flair and character into your capsule, you will have like a couple of pieces where... They, like in theory, they go together, but maybe it's not the silhouette that you absolutely love. So it's okay, like the little kind of percentage of the pieces that go, don't go with one another. But in general, if you want more outfits out of smaller clothes, efficient wardrobe, practical wardrobe with mix and match looks, you want to be very intentional and to make sure that most tops go with majority of bottoms. So you have more outfits out of your less clothes. Example of Alexa, one of my clients as well. She has hundreds of looks for work. So she goes to uh, the office every single day, five days a week, and she needed this very practical, easy wardrobe that she can get dressed for her uh, VP role. And all of these looks, all of the looks for her wardrobe, for her work wardrobe, she put together using basics um, and then introducing color print and accessories. But everything is to mix and match, and it just makes you so, so happy. Now, more example, Shannon, uh, I think she's from Charlotte or living in a kind of warmer climate. And she's saying as well, I used to wear only black and beige uh, before working with Nina. And now I love wearing color and feeling more confident and happy with my wardrobe. This is what happens as well. I don't push any of my clients actually to like, oh, you have to wear color or everybody has to wear color. Um, you can actually start very small. And I do have quite some clients that, oh, I'm happy with my neutrals. Maybe I just want a little bit more of blue, but that's it. There are other style strategies, how you can elevate your looks and make them look more chic. But what happens more often than not is that once you start experimenting with color, you just fall in love with it. It makes you so, so happy. Um, it's um, There is a psychology of color. So uh, there is a like, real reason why when you put together colorful looks, it makes you more in the better mood it cheers you up it makes you feel more happy this is what all, all my clients are experiencing now final steps if you're thinking like okay basics okay we don't want basic like very basic so we're going to introduce variety we're going to introduce color but i still want a little bit of more elevated type of looks and this is where some of you were asking at the very beginning okay what is the proper ratio this is the 
famous 80-20 rule. This also applies to the wardrobe. So in general, the majority of your wardrobe, they're like 80, around 80, okay, maybe 70, 30, but roughly 80, 20, 80% 80 you shall have of this more basic type of like core pieces in your wardrobe that are easy to mix and match. Everything goes with one another. But then another 20% is where you introduce for example, trendy pieces. If you want to introduce a particular trend, if you want to introduce some funky piece, something a bit more flamboyant, you can introduce that. You have a space for that. So this is how you make your style even more authentic. You make your style even more kind of uh, chic to yourself. And these are, of course, accessories. Also a mistake that a lot of women are making. It's very overlooked accessories. Um, and accessories could also be two things. They could be very practical. So if you look at the belts, for example, this could be just a very neutral type of belt that kind of blends in with your summer wardrobe. Or it could be a belt that is more like a statement piece. It's also a belt, but this one is made out of raffia. This is this is one is with a more kind of poshy buckle and with color. So, or shoes, for example, you can go for something a bit more neutral in neutral color, or you can go for shoes with a bit of a like more special buckle in metallics or in the bold color, in the pop of color. So all of those pieces could be a bit more practical and neutral, or they could be a little bit more statement. And the bag as well, like this one, for example, is a quite neutral bag by itself, but then it has this beautiful golden detail on the bag, which makes it look a little bit more chic. Or you can also go for a bag that is very flamboyant and very special. So this is what you want to have in your wardrobe. So the jewelry as well could be something quite minimalistic, or it could be something more visible, more chunky, more flamboyant, all up to you. Like where you start, what you prefer, do you want something more neutral just to add a little visual interest or you want something a bit more chunky and flamboyant. So, and these are your 20% if you want to play with trends, if you want to introduce something a little bit more special, flamboyant, um, something with, uh, you can see all of these pieces, they're not basic. They are perfect. They are great, but you just don't want them to take up the majority of your wardrobe. Visual example, how the summer outfits can look like very basic, very, um, like very kind of plain. Okay, here we also like, it's a little bit about the feet as well, but you can see how this one is a bit plain. When you introduce color, a bit more vivid color, accessories, looks completely different. Like you can see this type of look with shorts and this type of look with shorts as well, looks completely different. This type of basic um, outfit with the jeans and with the, with a square neckline top and this type of outfit with a belt uh, with a bit more of a pop of color with more accessories, more visible accessories, completely different type of look. Okay, more example, another example as well. Um, plain type of outfit. So here at the base, we have a white denim. So great pair of jeans, great staple for summer, for majority of women. So it could look something like plain, a t-shirt, gray t-shirt and white jeans and white sneakers. Very, very plain. I mean, sometimes there are days where you would want something like this, kind of like invisible and plain. It could be okay. But if you want something elevated, even in a very casual with sneakers type of outfit, you can make it look more elevated by adding a belt, a bit of accessories. Maybe instead of a, um, a plain shirt, you can go for a striped shirt. You can elevate the same type of base outfit with the white jeans into smart casual by adding more accessories, more chic accessories, a blazer, and changing the shoes for something a bit more chic and with a bit more visual interest. And make it dressy. So here is your 20% type of piece, a little bit more flamboyant, um, more visible jewelry. And this is how like very simple idea or white type of bottom outfit, but how you can make it look very different using all this style principle that we've just um discussed now you've just learned how to create stylish and efficient wardrobe and you do have a choice now you can continue the same path when you spend lots of time and money buying clothes and still not feeling polished and put together you can continue buying trends and influencers pick and not having a style that feels good to you Continue with daily frustration of getting dressed and not feeling confident with your choices and keep struggling with dressing your body. Or there is a much better way when you go for something that doesn't fit your body, nothing to wear, everything feels boring and plain to something that feels really good to yourself. Outfits and wardrobe that makes you feel your most confident self put together and shake. 
This is what you can achieve already this year. I want you to imagine this reality for yourself, actually, because this could be true for you, you like quicker than you think. You can create chic and practical style and feel put together for every occasion, not just on a special rare occasion when you wear a dress and heels and do your special hair and makeup, but for every occasion, whether it's daily dressing for the office, whether it's going on a date night, whether it's running errands, whether you're taking your um, child um, to the playground, whether it's going on a brunch uh, date on the weekend, you can look chic and, and put together for every single occasion. You can fit and flatter your body now without losing the, the weight, without changing anything about your body. You could just use style strategies to dress your body in a way that you love and to create silhouettes that makes you feel confident. Unlock your vibrant style, which makes you feel chic, stylish, and most confident self. You can create mix and match wardrobe for every season. We're talking about summer right now, but you can have mix and match wardrobe, not just in summer, but in every season, in winter, in fall, in spring, Every season, you can have this mix and match easy shake wardrobe, save hours every week, you dress in minutes and love your reflection in the mirror, save money every season, every piece you buy becomes a true investment into timeless, stylish wardrobe. This is how I treat my wardrobe as well. Everything I buy, it's not just clothes, it's an investment into me feeling great, feeling most confident self. So ultimately, great style is not about pretty outfits, not just looking pretty and beautiful. It's about the confidence it brings to you. And style is one of the most underrated tools to really create an instant boost of confidence. And it works every single time. Like literally, this is my own recipe. Whenever I didn't sleep well, or I feel like uh, I feel like I just woke up with the wrong uh, foot and I don't feel the best. And I have like a few things to do today, put on the best outfit. And instantly I feel so much better. It gives me confidence to approach my day in a completely different manner. When you feel amazing in your body, you align with how you feel inside and show up on the outside. It's about creating those next level opportunities because when you feel confident, like you open up the whole world of opportunities for yourself, whether it is next level career shifts, whether it's going on a date night and feeling your best, or saying yes to an opportunity. Because when you feel confident, everything is possible. You feel empowered and inspired by your style versus frustrated. All of my clients are saying that feeling so much more confident, Rachel is saying, feeling so much more confident and feminine in my new style after working with Nina, uh, Samba. You have no idea how my confidence is just increasing. So super, super happy to be working with you. Meharish also from London is saying that um, if you want to upgrade your style and feel more confident, just do it. Another case study. I want you to really see and envision for yourself how it could be possible. Alexa, you've already seen here hundreds of outfits for the work. And uh, she came initially um, with me also thinking about to to create different type of work outfits because she could just go to promotions. She's a VP in a very large organization. Uh, she also has a toddler. So she was completely at a loss how to dress for her new role, how to dress her body that has changed. And uh, she was not sure that it would be like really possible, but you could see her new outfits. They make her so, so happy. You can see the color, the print accessories, uh, like absolutely amazing. So it makes you very, very happy. And it's not just about work outfits. These are her casual looks. Also, she's very happy when she's going to walk her dog or to bring her daughter on a walk. Like she has this put together a look for every area, whether it's a date night with a husband, just best investment she made on herself in a long time. So I invite you to begin your journey today with Style Accelerator. It is the simplest, quickest path to look put together and feel confident every day. And it is a fully tailored to you path. I'm going to walk you to explain to you what is this program, what is this path, because there is nothing like this on the market. And right now it's a very special time when you can join. And I'm going to give you a very special offer. You're really in the best place for that. Style Accelerator is a com complete solution to transform your style and wardrobe in the shortest time. So when we talk about the car, uh, the uh, style in general, you could see already today while we're talking about the capsule that it's not just about one element. And when you see online, some people are saying, oh, just have your colors done and your style is working. Oh, just figure out what is your body shape and download the template or download the capsule template and kind of you are done. And I think now you understand that it's not working like this. It's a few elements that have to come together to really create the style that makes you feel confident, not just 
a couple of outfits, not just a couple of tops, but really a transformational style and wardrobe. So Style Accelerator includes and covers all of this. It includes done for your color analysis, dress in your shape, to outfit formulas, to for every occasion, to wardrobe templates, your customizable digital style guide, and direct application to your style and wardrobe. So it covers every single area. And inside Style Accelerator, I'm helping you to put together a wardrobe for every area of your life. You've just seen Alexa. She put together her work wardrobe. This is where we started. Then it was about casual wardrobe. Then it was about date night kind of outfits. Then it was travel. Then it was different seasons. So we cover it all in Style Accelerator and I help you do that. The value of just this uh, program, it's just the program itself, is 2.5 US. But the secret sauce of Style Accelerator, and this is why you see so many testimonials of real women like yourself, and this is how you can expect to really get the results that you are after, because it comes with personalized expert guidance, and you can already see results already on week one when you join because you get laser focused guidance through weekly live calls. So every single week I do a live call in Style Accelerator actually on Sundays. Um, if you join right now, you can already join the call tomorrow and already have results, not just on week one, but like tomorrow. So this is a call um, where it's a small group on Zoom and you come with any type of questions that you have. And we have this one-on-one -on -one attention in the mini group setting. Um, I encourage you before you even start with the program, before you even start discovering like this, a new world for yourself to come with questions with your outfits, whether you may be, you need to dress up for an important event coming up next week, whether you have a travel coming up. So I had one woman who just joined and she has a travel um, she's teaching and she has a teaching, um, like she's traveling from the US to Italy to do, to do a teaching class. And we fixed uh, like a few outfits for like specifically for this travel, whatever it might be, whether you need a quick idea how you put together an outfit or a quick fix on outfit, come with your question and I'm going to help you. And you are able to get the full value of this personalized expert guidance, whether you can attend live, you're very welcome to join live, but you don't have to if you can't. It's also possible you can submit your questions beforehand in the private community that we have, and you will get um, exclusive recorded response. So you will have the full value. You ensure the full value through the program. So this is truly that you don't get anywhere else. Every single client of mine, they say, okay, this program is so transformative, but the one thing, if I have to name one thing, what helped me really get results ASAP is to get this guidance because it really fast tracks everything. So if you value your time, if you value, um, if you want to have results and see results as soon as possible, this is what you get in Style Accelerator. And right now, it's the very last chance to get this personalized guidance. So by the end of this year, by the end of 2024, I'm doing this weekly calls personally myself, personally helping you every single week with any sort of health challenges you have. But it's the last time when I'm going to do that. So I've been running this program for more than three years. And um, next year, we're going to do some change um, of how I work and how much I work. So this is literally the last chance, the, the last six months to get this personalized guidance. The value of this is 5,000 US. The value. This is what my clients are saying. The depth of support in Style Accelerator is phenomenal. This is truly what you're not finding anywhere else. Um, Lindsay is saying, I didn't expect the individualized attention and personalized guidance that I will get in Style Accelerator. The weekly calls are incredibly impactful. One of the most powerful investments I've ever made in myself. Miralis is also saying, one of the best investments in myself. The program has exceeded my expectations. So with Style Accelerator, you also have a private community of high achieving, amazing, brilliant women like yourself. Um, if you're like myself, you're probably thinking like, ooh, I like the idea of the program, but I don't think I need another online community or anything like this. In reality, um, like most of the women, they come with this idea in mind, but you will get so much out of this community as well. This is what like a few quotes of how my clients are what are they saying about the community is so wonderful. It's amazing to see other women, their questions, their ideas, how what fits and clothes look on them. It's very inspirational as well. So we all share our capsules, the uh, the pics, uh, the photos, um, 
And it's very, like, it's a great learning curve. It's a great motivation. It's really like one of the best parts as well of Style Accelerator. Being able to ask questions in the community and receive personalized responses promptly is really helpful. If you don't want to join a call, yeah, this is what you can do. I didn't think I was going to get much out of the community, but I've loved seeing others' progress and getting item recommendations from them. So we have the most brilliant community of high achieving, fantastic, kindest women on the planet. And when you join now Style Accelerator, you get very special bonuses complementary to the main program. Uh, these are style topics that make you shine. Everything from picking accessories to how to shop smart, hair and makeup, dress for the camera, all of that is included. The value is 2.5. So the total value of Style Accelerator is 12.5 US dollars. But right now you get a very, very special offer and you can join for just 1997 for limited time only until 1st of July, oh, sorry, 1st of June, uh, we are giving this very special option. So for that, you will get in the complete solution to transform your style and wardrobe in the shortest time. So Style Accelerator includes everything. So done for your color analysis, we help you figure out your colors, how to put together your colorful wardrobe, how to dress your specific shape, how to translate all of that into the outfits that work for you and make you feel confident how to put together all of that from the outfit level into the wardrobe that works all of that is included personalized expert support directly with me on a weekly basis so this is the last chance absolutely last chance 2024 last time you're gonna get this support curated community with high achieving women on the same path and exclusive bonuses to make you shine so if you're ready to join remember tomorrow we really we already have the call so if you like to see results fast. If you want to start right now, please do. You can go to ninawalder.com slash best. And join right now. And tomorrow you can already be on the call with me and other amazing women. This is what um, my clients are saying. This was one of the most transformational. Um, well, um, uh, how to say steps in their life so i do work with high achieving women incredible women um who come with their after massive personal changes and uh who are ready to start showing up the way they feel inside so her style subway saying did not reflect her personality didn't give the flourishing vibe and now after working with me i feel so confident in myself i look how i feel inside and i love that harmony so if you're ready for that please join style accelerator i would love to work with you i would love to help you just go to ninawalder.com slash best to get the very special offer in the last very last opportunities. Now, quick recap. If you're thinking, mm, shall I do now or later? I know all of us like to think, but I want you to imagine for yourself. So you can already see results, like real results from week one with laser focused guidance. And you can start feeling confident and stylish right away. So in the program, the way I work with women, it's not about like throwing away everything and then buying a bunch of new clothes. We're going to start working with your wardrobe. You already probably have quite a few good pieces. You just need a few tweaks. So we start, we're going to start with what you already have in your wardrobe and we're going to go through there. That's why I'm saying you can already get great results from week one. So you can already share the pictures of your outfits right now. We can identify the like the major gaps right now that are the one thing. So one of my clients who joined recently, we saw that um, she's a high power attorney and she realized like all of your blazers and suits are kind of slightly outdated. So we thought, okay, you need a couple of new suits and it's already be a great game changer for you. This is what we focused on for her. And this is like, was a complete game changer. Now we're talking about shoes for her. Um, it's different for everyone. It is a perfect time to start with summer wardrobe and then cover fall and winter wardrobes as well. So when you were talking, like in January, when you start thinking about your style and discovering how you can create this type of new type of outfits and wardrobe for yourself, um, it's better to start with something that is kind of a little bit easier and summer wardrobe for that is perfect to start with because it's a little bit like easier and achievable. And once we figure out the summer wardrobe, then we can transition to fall and winter wardrobe, which is a little bit more complicated when you have like bigger pieces, more like heavy boots and uh, like more like slightly like more layer and all of this. So this is the perfect time to start with the summer wardrobe, but literally right now. It is the last life cohort that I'm running now 2024 the last time to get personalized guidance directly from me 
and take advantage of the very special offer till 1st of June, 12 0.5 US value for only 1997. I want to see you there. Go to ninawalder.com slash best. Okay, my dear, so many of you are sticking around. I am going to be asking, uh, you're going to be asking me questions. <laughs> um, so um, put your questions in the q and I'm going to be sticking around for a little while answering your questions, um, helping you with Anything you can help. Okay, Salim is asking, is there any guidance on brands to shop? Yeah, absolutely. So in Style Accelerator, um, I share, um, first of all, yes, where to shop in general, where I shop for myself, for my clients. Um, so yes, we do have the guidance for that. We It's all um, segmented into different uh, body shapes, for example, in, into different heights. So for petite, for curvy, for tall. So it's segmented into these different areas. We also, uh, for example, shoes is a very big topic. A lot of women, for example, looking for comfortable shoes, uh, whether it's with heels or without heels, like flats. So we do have a selection of those. I do Every um, quarter, I do a capsule. So the capsule that I shared today with you, so this is the capsule that is going to be available in Style Accelerator. Everything is shoppable there. It gives you directly the idea of the of the outfits. Um, you also have the capsule that all the other clients, amazing women, are share, share, sharing inside Style Accelerator. So you are able to see how like where other women shop, where they buy. So this is actually like a very big kind of knowledge base because this is what uh, happens when everybody's seen, oh, she got this t-shirt, I love it, I'm on the same. And, but it's kind of, um, with my help, we help you find the right piece. Not just some standardized. Uh, okay, okay. Um, Punita, hi Nina. When we go for a blazer in thin material, it loses its structure, which goes against the principle of dress for success. How do we balance that? So thin um, material, thin fabric in a blazer does not necessarily or always mean that it's going to be like just the piece that kind of hangs without any structure and doesn't look polished. So it doesn't mean so. So yes, there could be a blazer that does like thin material and it does look a bit like sloppy. Could be that, but it doesn't have to. So you may want to kind of explore a little bit deeper and see if different options uh, second, if you're okay, like you already have a blazer that doesn't look that polished because out of the thin fabric. So introduce other pieces in your outfit that have structure. So for example, the blazer that is maybe a little bit thin, not as structured as you want, but then go for structured trousers. Instead of pairing this blazer, this thin blazer with like linen kind of very breezy um, trousers that will together will create a more kind of casual look. Instead, go for trousers with pleats, for example, that will create a more polished look. Um, okay, so a lot of questions about high waist pants. I mean, you'll have it on the bottom. Da, 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 da. How do we find well fitting trousers? So, these are very uh, common questions that'll like it's something that I help my clients every single day to find like well fitting trousers. It is possible, it is about knowing. Um, like the feet, the difference in feet, um, where to look and uh, what exactly to try, but it is possible. Um, how do you do the color analysis online? Yeah, all the color analysis I do is virtual. So you can do color analysis two way. You can do it uh, in person or you can do it virtually. I train to do it both ways. And actually I have fantastic results doing it virtually. All my, for all my clients, I do it virtually. Um, there is some specifics. You would need to submit your... We give you the instructions. You need to submit uh, the selfies of beautiful you. Uh, so we can do the color analysis correctly. There are some little instructions to follow, but no problem, we do that. And you get your color palette, recommendations for prints, color combinations. So you have this full, um, full um, uh, clarity for that. Uh, okay. Okay. Got it. I love the Dress for Business Success program. Yeah, so I do have a few programs. And if you've been, I know a lot of my clients have actually started with my smaller program that are, that are focused on a very specific kind of area. For example, Dress for Business Success focused just on, um, it's a self-study program. It's focused just on um, 
uh, specifically work wardrobe. But if you want uh, the full um, the full transformation and also personalized guidance on how to see results quicker, Style Accelerate is for you. And uh, ta da da. <laughs> Okay, let me, I'm looking through a question. There are so many. I'm trying to find the kind of most common ones. Um, I, Francisca, are high-waisted pants for mostly every shape? Um, yes, either high-waisted or mid-waisted are suitable for most shapes. Yeah, this is kind of the silhouette that is most flattering on majority of shapes. Yeah. Uh, so, I have tried the concept of capsule wardrobe, but what ends up happening is that I don't repeat the outfits, but I do repeat individual pieces, and people around me are able to recognize that. Suggested for this concern. I don't know when you joined, um, but this is exactly what I was talking about. So to bring variety to your wardrobe. So if you are um, like not repeating the outfit, but your go-to outfit formula, T-shirt, let's say, like t-shirt and jeans and your t-shirts one is gray another one is navy another one is black and your jeans are all like kind of uh, dark denim of course by changing the outfits and by changing these t-shirts and these bottoms of course like these are kind of technically different outfits but the way they look and feel they're like completely identical this is what a lot of women are struggling with that's why i was talking about the variety so you need to introduce variety in a way that in different necklines colors fits something a bit more voluminous something a bit more fitted different type of necklines texture so this is um this is what you have to um to introduce this is um what drop with intention um, okay, I like to wear cohorts more so because they help me elevate my height, but that restricts me to mix and match and create new outfits. Uh, is there a way to solve uh, uh, that um, issue? So coordinated outfits is actually um, is a great idea. The problem is then becomes if this coordinated, this top and bottom mix and match is one way to wear it. Like, it's one way to, to wear it. So if you are buying, like, different sets, so you have this type of set and this type of set and this type of set, all coordinated, but they don't mix and match between themselves, then you have, like, kind of separate outfits, right? So you do want to make sure that the pieces, this coordinated set that you buy, you can mix and match. So the top from this one, you can wear with the bottoms from another one. This is the same concept that you have to apply. So, Alexandra, weekly for six months? Yes, in Style Accelerator... Um, the calls I do are weekly because, of course, we are all busy women and it's not realistic for you to join every single week. So that's why you have the luxury of joining when you can, when your schedule allows, when you can. Um, so the calls are there every week. You can join live when you can. You can submit your questions every week if you want to, and you will get your personalized guidance. But you have this opportunity. Um Da, da, da. Okay. Um, so, okay, Louise, you're very good with belts. What type of belts should you have in a capsule wardrobe? So, <laughs> depends. Uh, there are different type of belts. In a nutshell, in a nutshell, um, a belt of two, three centimeters with a minimalistic buckle is the kind of the most easy belt to start with, but there is a lot of nuance to that. And this is exactly what I do in Style Accelerator to help you understand not just which belts I add or which are the best belts. This is kind of the standardized approach. This sometimes works, sometimes it most often doesn't work. In Style Accelerator, I help you choose the belts that are going to work for you, for your capsule to create the sila that you want. Some of my clients, they come and say, I love the idea of belts. I love how you wear it, for example, Nina, but me, I don't want to accentuate my mom pouch. And this is a big misconception that if you don't want to accentuate your midsection, you cannot wear a belt. So I was sharing with you Oops, I was showing you, oops, yeah, so Alexa, for example, she, uh, so she uh, doesn't want to accentuate her midsection, uh, but she introduced plenty of belts to her, let's see if I have more, wait, uh, she introduced plenty of belts, but a very specific one to make it 
work specifically for her. Yeah, she has so many belts right now and she's like so, so happy, but these are very specific belts that work for uh, her. Yeah, she even wears them in the casual outfits. Okay, let me see. More questions. Um, okay, let me go back to... to this, to the link. Yeah, ninavolvi.com slash bust. Okay, uh, what else? Let me see, so many questions. Do -do -do. <laughs> Sarah, where to shop for basics? Either online or store, it's not easy to find basic, nice basic pieces. Um, so, Oh, there are so many shops where you can uh, shop for basics, but it's not about like a magical secret shop that I know and I'm going to share with you and like it's going to be the answer to everything. Uh, we just talked about that um, every solution has to be personalized, like a great style and wardrobe has to be personalized. So you can find great basics anywhere from like Uniqlo, for example, or Zara to more elevated brands, uh, like um to like sandro or maj or maxmara or like depending on your budget depending on the colors you look for so there are so many shops uh, where you can find those this is what we share in style accelerator the finds the shops is not just one answer so how much time should each of us invest in style accelerator so the way I designed the program and um, every woman in the Style Accelerator is a busy woman with a career with often children and um, other things going on in our life. So the way it is designed is that you have um, kind of um, paced, self-paced 10, 12 week guided program, but then you have six months to go through the program whether you want to cover different seasons, like depending where you live, whether, for example, at some point you have a big travel or you have holidays coming up and like you have to take a few weeks off, you can absolutely do that because you have the time afterwards to catch up. You have the full, full six months. It's honestly like plenty um, enough. If you are interested to get results, it's like plenty enough of time to get that. If you want to do it like moderately, I would say one, two hours a week is what you can do in Style Accelerator every other week and you will see results, okay? So it is absolutely very realistic. You can adapt it to your schedule. Um, okay, this is my main concern. I feel that I just don't have time for Style Accelerator. I mean, yeah. Um, you can write me. So if you have any very specific question, like very particular situation, you can write me on IG. I try to help you figure out um in general like what i just said that every single woman in style accelerator um is a woman with a busy career we have like high level women uh, cfos vps lawyers who find the time for style accelerator so we do the calls on the weekend um you are also able to submit your questions when you can on your own schedule throughout the week the community is there for you to ask your questions i'm helping you throughout the week as well so if you want the results um you will be able to find the time. So it's not a rushed program. It's not uh, something that um, you have to absolutely pack in like one month or anything. Okay, let me see. Maybe a couple more questions. I have hundreds here. Um, doo -doo -doo. So uh, Liz, so uh, Amanda Capsule work. Does a capsule work if you mix cool and warm shades? No, um, generally you want to stick to, yeah, so I mentioned to you that there are different ways how you can mix colors. Uh, one of them is yes, to stick into either cool or warmer shades. Generally, when you have your color analysis done, you understand uh, your undertone, so you understand which colors work better for you. Me, for example, I mostly go for cooler shades. Some shades, this one, for example, is a bit more neutral. But generally, I will go for cool ones. I have clients who go fully for warmer shades, and uh, you can find either way. But for a capsule to work and to look cohesive, yes, you want to go for either cool or warm. Okay. Okay. 
Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so let me see. What is my color season? So I am cool, medium, uh, medium contrast. This is actually um like it's so funny. Uh, a lot of people like looking at my hair on Instagram on photo, like with like lighting that completely over there. Say, Onina, oh, I think you're warm. Like, like when you train professional to know how to do virtual color analysis, you don't do this type of mistake. Um. Okay. Okay. I think I covered all of that, my dears. I am so excited. Thank you for joining me today. I think we covered it pretty well time-wise. If you have any other specific questions and you're like, something in your particular situation, you can write me on Instagram. I think you um, know um, the my, my at Nina underscore Wilder underscore, or you can also reply to any of the emails that I've been sending you, reminding about the webinar. You can reply to any of these emails and my team and I will be happy to help you with any other questions that you have. Okay, last question, Xena. Does this program only last until the end of the year? Then we don't have access to the material. Okay, oh, this is a good question, actually. So uh, the program itself, like the content of the program, you have lifetime access. Uh, until the end of, the end of this year, it's the personalized guidance. The weekly calls are only until the end of the year. So only until the end of the year, you have this weekly calls, personalized guidance, uh, the program. So for future guidance to refer back in different seasons, um, you have lifetime access. I mean, as long as the program runs and um, it is going to be running, it's my uh, flagship program. Okay. Okay, uh, can you tell us more about the potential change for your program starting 2025? No, I cannot. I'm just, um, so it might be that it's going to be self-study. So self-study, uh, but why I like you to join the Style Accelerate, if you're thinking about it, if you've been considering this program for a while, I recommend for you to start now because this is the chance for you to work personally with me inside this program. This is the last life cohort that I'm personally doing. I've been doing it for years. And when I say laser focused guidance, it's because I, I've worked with so many women right now. This is when I precisely can give you this laser focused guidance because like instead of breaking your hand against like something, an issue you had for years, we can fix it and literally like one call in like 10 minutes of conversation. So this is the magic that a lot of my clients experience. That's why if you consider that, consider it for now. Um, maybe it's going to be self-study for 2025 or um, we'll see. We'll see, but uh, I'm not going to be running the live calls from 2025. This is the last chance, okay? Okay, my dears, I think this is it. I'm getting a bit hot. I have a lump here, uh, like very mild lump, but I'm getting like kind of warm. I want some fresh air. Thank you for being here today with me. It's been lovely. I hope you got a lot out of today. I know it's been a lot, but if you're ready to continue, if you're ready to implement all of that, to put it into practice, to see your results quicker, I highly encourage you and invite you to check out Style Accelerator to join me for the very last live cohort. I'm so, so excited for that. Thank you for your hearts. I see the floating hearts here, so lovely. Okay, my dears, have the best weekend. Um, love you. See you on Instagram and elsewhere. Bye. And some of you, like I see you tomorrow on the call. Okay. Bye.